Ah, Disney Channel. If you're anything like me, you probably spent the majority of your childhood growing up with new episodes of Lizzie McGuire, That's So Raven, The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, and lots more. I don't know if it's because I hold on to nostalgia, but I love these shows and still do believe they hold up today. As time moved on, a lot of people my age criticized the network for being too, well, bleh. It's stupid, it's brainwashing, our generation had better. For me, I sort of drifted apart from the network around 2010. At least from its sitcoms, the animated ones are honestly pretty badass. But I can understand why people would think negatively, especially around that time. Wizards of Waverly Place and Hannah Montana may have been enjoyable the first few seasons, but my god, why did they run for 60,000 seasons? Okay, that's an exaggeration of seasons, but clearly they needed to be put out of their misery. Good Luck Charlie was beloved by many, and I see why. While some parts of it were obnoxious, especially with the baby, the series did have a full house-like charm. I didn't watch a lot of it. To be fair, I didn't watch a lot of the other seasons that aired around the time Good Luck Charlie did. Some I've never even heard of. So is it truly fair for me to say Disney Channel has fallen under the tracks? Jesse is probably the only show I can truly despise. Ugh. I just, I just hate it. The kids are rotten spoiled brats. Quit trying to pass that as cute. But seriously, what are the other shows like? Well, that's why I'm here. The objective of this video series is for me to watch as many episodes of the currently running Disney Channel sitcoms as I can before my brain melts to the ground or something. Then I'll conclude whether Disney Channel is truly as bad as most people believe it to be or not. But why? Well, that brings me to my first review. In summer of 2013, Disney Channel announced that they would produce a new spin-off series to their classic show, Boy Meets World. And this excited me. I love Boy Meets World and I remember watching reruns of it while I was in the 5th grade, and I always admired its charisma. It taught important life lessons concerning family relationships, friendships, and love. I wanted to know what happened to Cory and Topanga after they moved to New York. Did they live up to Mr. Feeney's final dream, try, do good lesson? Who's their kid? Riley Matthews, played by Rowan Blanchard, is a hyper-energetic, enthusiastic, positive little Miss Sunshine who sees the world one way, but throughout the series, discovers life just doesn't always work in her favor. Every episode revolves around Corey, Mr. Matthews, class, and how Riley and her friends learn from his lessons in their everyday lives. I'll be honest, the first season of the series did play kinda silly. But I don't know, they were only in middle school. The show grows with Riley, it becomes more serious. The later episodes focused on things such as autism and religious beliefs. That was a great episode. It ended with Riley learning that not everyone will share the same beliefs as her, not even her friends. And all she can do is accept that. Every person, every child, everything out there, everything we see and we don't see, all these shining elements of a force that bond us together, I like to think of that as a part of God refracted. Aspects of God that I can see. What's the secret of life, Riley? People change people. We're here to discover what it is we want to believe in. And different people believe in different things. But it doesn't hurt to listen to people we love before we decide for ourselves. Yeah, I know. These show writers must have fought hard to get into these deep worldly issues. It's just, sadly, they couldn't fight long. It was rumored for a long time that Girl Meets World would possibly get cancelled. And it did. The series ended with their final episode premiering in January of 2017. And I was mad. I'm mad we're never going to see the mature young adults Riley and all her friends will grow to become. I don't understand why anyone would actually hate the show. I read a comment somewhere on the internet of someone calling Riley obnoxious and stupid. I see why that person may originally think that, but if you actually watch the show, you'll learn that she's not stupid. She's just a little naive because she's young and adjusting to the changes in the world we all face when growing up. She struggles to understand why bad things happen in a world she originally thought was smiles and sunshine. It's depression. It's not stupidity. Riley's extremely fortunate to have the friends she has, the love in her family, and a teacher full of passion to teach her, her friends, and us that sometimes life will not always be in our favor. We can react by blaming everything at the world, or we can understand that it might be hard now, but things will always work out in the long run, and that we must learn to trust and work with the world in order to grow. Okay, let's check out the scale. Of all the episodes in the series, I've seen about 90% of them. Luckily, I have a few more to catch up on. But come on, Disney, bring back Girl Meets World! 